So we were trying to figure out what to make. And sometimes that's a little bit of a dilemma just because, you know, there's a big age group and it's like, what do people really want? Um, so we were trying to think of like, what, like, what we want in our apartment right now, and that's house plants. And we we live in the first floor, and our lighting is terrible. Awful. We cannot keep any plant alive in here. Yeah. And also now with the cat, you know, a lot of the plants are poisonous. So. Oh my god, he loves to eat plants. It's like he's like a vegetarian. He's like always like <laughs> munching on these plants. We have to get rid of all our plants. Uh, so we're we're going to be making um, a cardboard. Yeah, a cardboard cactus. Awesome. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. It. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're just going to show you some steps. We actually have a template on our blog. You can print this out and use it as a guide to cut out your cacti trunk here. Yeah, but if you can draw Frank Ape, you could totally yes. <laughs> just freehand this. Um, so for each cactus, you need uh, two matching pieces. And then you want to cut uh, slits, one slit on, coming from the top and then one slit coming from the bottom. And you just want to make sure that slit is, can you see me? I'm going to like stand yeah. up. You just want to make sure that slit is um, big enough for the cardboard piece to fit through. So I'm just going to like cut, I don't know, not even a quarter of an inch. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, there we go. And that's even a little bit too big, but don't worry because we're just going to hot glue them together. So it'll work. So you just want to make sure you go all the way down to the middle. We know what you're thinking. This looks like a bat. <laughs> I thought it looked like a falafel. Oh, a falafel? That's a big falafel. That's how I like them. <laughs> okay, then you're just gonna piece them together just like this. And then you can just hot glue it in place. Just be careful with your fingers. Oh my gosh, sorry, I cannot see. Here we go. And for our pot we just put three of them together so we just made three of these i mean it really is pretty quick and this is great because it used a lot of our amazon boxes yes and then you paint it so cute right and then we cut little pieces of thread here yeah and this is where you can either like kind of go go all in or just kind of keep it simple you can even do like little uh spikes with a marker oh yeah that'd um, be really cute. we wanted it to be you know we like to do time consuming crafts that we can pop on our favorite shows, a movie, yeah, like and kind of sit mindless. there mindless, kind of like Frank Abe was saying. Um, and then you can either draw on your little spikes here, like that, you see, with a marker. Yeah, or you can cut like a little piece of thread, and then, I mean, you need to cut about, I don't know. Oh God. Maybe like 60 so much for thread. each, yeah, probably even more. Yes. And then you just want to take your thread and dip it into a little bit of glue, and then, just place it right into the crease on the on the edge here. Yes. And then, so because we didn't want to rush out to the store and we were using what we had, we uh, thought it'd be cute to use some uh, black beans, dry black beans for the base. You could use rice, rocks if you have, like fish yeah. rocks. You could even like... just glue these into the bottom, which would be fine. So yes. this is what they look like done. We also added just a little bit of string. We just wrap the string around the cactus just to give it just a little more dimension and more detail. So I would say each one of these cactus, cactus, <laughs> uh, cacti, wait, is it, yeah, cacti, I, know, I don't know. I never know. Uh, took about maybe 30 minutes to put each of like each the spikes individual on. individual But thread. I mean, we have so much time nowadays. I know, time. we don't have anything else to do. Yeah, so then you just like <laughs> stick it in. And so cute. Yeah. We also made a, yeah. right? We made this one out of felt and- Yeah, this is a felt snake plant. And basically all we did was do like, a, we just cut out triangles and then glued them into this pot. pot. So, so this way we can have house plants in our apartment all yeah. year long. Ta-da, ta-da. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yes, yeah, so we have the full tutorial on the blog with the template, so you could always go check it out, the steps. Yeah. You know, we just want to inspire, give you something to do while you're waiting around. Yeah, and feel free if you have any questions just to reach out.